like this. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, Trousseau? Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. A pity neither of us saw what happened. Nothing worth repeating. Corpses don't much go in for commerce. Here, though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the Absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together, and quite a fool who draw their ire. Hmm? More concerned that your business might be bad for my business. So don't go kicking the hive while there's still some honey to be had. An honor, true soul. Gives us all to her design. Your family will answer. Eventually. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. Lies! I served the Absolute! I did everything I was told! And there you have it. We're too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! Sorry, my lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, let us take advantage of our surprising guest and their particular creative genius. I'm sure the results will send a clear message to the troops on the importance of discipline. Of course, my lord. Thank you. You heard the General. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Do. Have fun. 
Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> Let's go see Zarel. And mind you don't slip in the goblin gut. In another lifetime, you were greeted in this throne room like a god. Not the living wreck you are now. Your disgrace has something to do with this Catherick. You yearn to flay him until he forgets himself, as you have. With difficulty, you banish the pooling evil that bewitches your quivering limbs. Perhaps parts of you were scattered in this spire. Time to knit yourself together. The seat of the Absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Realm? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. A pool of warmth spreads through your mind as she settles on the memory of you commanding the goblins to die. Oh, I like you. That was inventive and efficient. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the Absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Caution. Hesitation. You fear power even when it's offered freely. Would you waste the Absolute's gifts as well? I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. 
That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorn. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There is a relic that General Thorn requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorn family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Be worth a look. Lost in thought. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. Ritual circle. Judging by the shadow sigils inscribed, it was used in the creation of Balthazar's moon lanterns. Though its power is weakened, you could still use the shattered pixies Balthazar discarded to craft one final lantern. Not to repel the shadows, but to wield them. Mistra forbids the use of such magic. She would insist the sigils be destroyed, the Circle's evil dissipated. But she is not here, and you are. alive, so that's progress. If Mistra were here, I don't think she'd be best pleased with me for doing that. She was always rather fond of pixies. Still, I'm sensing no signs of any divine retribution incoming. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Hmm, true enough. She'd certainly not want to jeopardize the completion of this little mission she and Elminster have concocted. It may not be the most savory kind of magic, but it will taste sweet enough if it brings us to the heart of the Absolute in one piece. We're up against the greatest threat Faerun has ever faced. I don't mind getting my hands dirty if it gives us a better chance of surviving. Whatever advantage I can gain for us, I will. And I refuse to feel guilty for it. 
no matter how much Mistress Chidings might echo in my skull. Now come, best keep moving. We have many more shadows to face before we reach the heart of the Absolute. is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky, Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. The chapter ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazel. Strange disc. Are these Githyanki markings? Lazel might know. From this seat, Ketherick defied gods and raised an army for the Absolute. It is not particularly comfortable. Oh! Well, it is a pleasure to be in your mighty sanctum. Let me guess. The Absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? He made it? He's all right? Told you. He's too stubborn to die. If you're not at the Absolute's beck and call, why are you here? Gnomes next door are up to something. They've been whispering like mad. Whatever it is, we're in. Don't leave us in here. My faith protects me. Is that 
not. No, never mind. Nimble. Check for gaps, cracks, anything to leverage the rock. Nickel. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only. Your reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? Huh. And why would you be so inclined? Marcus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. We've got a plan, for us and the Tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools, that head case of a warden robbed ours, but anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not Iron Hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. Stone. Should be easy.
now. Unless this evil can get us out of here, I don't want to hear about it. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Blessed Gerdol, I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you. The plan is to wait for a quiet moment, then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. I can keep going a little longer now. No time to dally. All right, what now? Yes? It's not tight. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. 
safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. dark until time skill or luck brings you to last light's dock hold there you can't just land and start unloading strangers they're procedures damn it no one gets in without being tested commander jahira's orders And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. It, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. A vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Hmm. Ferocious looking beast. O although your stuffing might be leaking. Last light's best bargains right here. What now? No. And pestering the craftsman won't speed things up. I don't need anything else. Thanks. Oh, Barkus. Uh, perhaps later. Was there something else? Surely Barkus will take care of that. Appreciate it. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I thought my entire family was dead. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's, it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me and the two idiots. I've lashed out at you, drunkenly and otherwise, and you helped anyway. You didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. And thank you. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. No doubt. Just keep your eyes peeled. Damn it. Ah, 
There you are. Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? He... what? Uh, your... <laughs> Excuse me. Wolverine! Oh, where is he? Ah! Not now! Wolverine's back! <laughs> Wolverine! Ah, uh, I heard you might be about. How the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I, I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? Uh, unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. Oh, but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Walbrin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But... W w Walbrin... The rune powder... We need to discuss what you're going to... I said go home! Please, that, that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. And, and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. A brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are. As promised, I give you the brilliant retort. Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. One and the same. Ah, nonsense. When you've known each other as long as we have, th there aren't sides. Walbrin can be a little sharp, but so can I. You should know that better than anyone. Well, perhaps Walbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to Boulder's Gate. Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone. Soon enough. Have you forgotten what's at stake? Your iron hand knows. Simple.
No one stopped me yet. Look out. Mean looks. Their eyes are made for the dark. Fire and light is our friend. <laughs> 